it's always amazing how much um, how many areas you miss you go through and do the whole thing I try and do it in a bit of a sequence and then you come back to where you started again and you can't believe some of the bits that you've missed it's not too bad though it's traveled reasonably well I live down in the south coast of West Australia um, near a place called Albany I'm very influenced by that that region I grew up on a farm in the vicinity and the farming processes and the landscape around me have been very influential in my work. In some ways, uh, my techniques come from a farming tradition rather than art and craft tradition. And it's from a, from a, a way of working that is about recycling, um, reusing what's at hand, and in some ways being influenced by the landscape around you. With this work, it's a reference to plantation trees uh, that had been burnt out after a fire had gone through the region and I found it the really the odd contrast of the grid-like formation of the plantation trees as opposed to the natural environment. With this particular work we uh, had to find a site. We excavated this to about uh, half a metre and there's two frames that are quite a strict grid. Because of the different access by the viewing public um, and also here you've got the uh, ability to get up really high and look down on the work so we just shifted that around until we got a configuration strange enough the piece is called configuration with the Helen Emperor Air scholarship um, I'm intending to stay for the full show I'm shown here five or six times in Bondi I never really got out of the city so it'd be great to be able to stay on and uh, and do a bit of exploring uh, Following that, my real focus with the Helen Empire Scholarship is to uh, go to Europe and visit sculpture parks and major institutions, but particularly outdoor installations. And Ireland is my major focus as I want to reconnect with my family ancestry and, and also uh, some of the ancient sites there, uh, particularly early Bronze Age sites, which I'm extremely interested in, the mythology and even the metallurgy, the tool making processes and stories that surround that. So that's something that I've read about and researched for a long time from home, but to actually see those landscapes for real will be pretty amazing, I think.